Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today I'll be taking a quick look at the course play hood and just going through all the buttons and settings that are on it. To start off, it's the default on all computers when you download it, that right click brings it up. Now the first thing you'll see is course play controller. If you start with course recording, calculate current fields edge path. That if you're in a cultivated field, it'll calculate the edge and you can set up your ups and downs in your headlands even that at the very bottom of that you have your different types of work that they can do if you're grain transport load at start and load at one point and tip at another point and go back to the start point your combine empty combine and off load that takes a straight tractor and trailer goes to the combine takes it from the combine tips it wherever you want it and the overloader that's where you use uh, overloader like the, if I can find it now, the auger wagon with the horse tighten as seen there. And that's what that is used for, that the auger will take it from the combine and put it into a trailer and the trailer then needs another horse to, to bring it, a, load, a grain transfer load and start to bring it together. I'll explain it in other videos where I'll show you how to set it up. Next one is fertilizer and seeding. Also works with spreading manure as well, spreading slurry or spreading dung. It will map out the field and you can set it up that he will spread the field and when he's empty go back to the farmyard, get more slurry and go back to the same spot and keep going. Bit of work involved, and I'll show you all the same. The middle one then is start at one point, finish at another point, it's just from driving from A to B. Field work, this one is very handy for doing jobs like bale and and mowing and such because that's a, just a, a, a universal one for anything that isn't described in any of the other buttons that can work the bail and mower, tether, roar, any of those sorts of things. The next one is only for combines. It's you tell you leave a trailer somewhere and you tell the combine when he's full to drive to this point, he'll empty into the trailer and he'll get back to where he was. Never used it before but I'll show it to you when I do. Next one is manure transporter. Never understand that fully. I think it's you can drive your tractor and manure spreader to the farmyard, get a machine to fill it, and then it'll drive back to the field and spread, I think. Not hundred percent sure. Last one is fill and empty shovel. Very handy using in the BGA using the loading shovel, drive into the pit, fill the bucket, drive out and tip it and repeat the process over and over again until it's all gone. Very handy. Now, if you start recording, of course, you see all the buttons you have. You have stop. The pause button is used if you ever crash, you can pause it. The next one, you can delete your waypoints back and reverse yourself out of your um, situation and correct yourself and keep going. The set waypoints he just waits there and other than fill an empty shovel, never had any use. The crossing point, same, never had any use. And I use the set turn maneuver. Sometimes when you start off, he leaves wide gaps. And if you start off or you're going around corners, he leaves wide gaps between the waypoints. And I use that to set waypoints in between them. The last one, if you want to do a reversing maneuver, you use you set a waypoint. And then you reverse. I'll show you all in later videos and you stop it. It's of no use. This one is where any of your saved courses come here. And you can put them into folders and folders into folders and so on and so forth. So if you set for that, the next one here, your side offset, vehicle offset, they're all and turn and stuff and just leave them as they are off of the star hat. That's when, if you were collecting from a combine, when the combine is at 50%, tractor and trailer will drive behind the combine and collect off it. And then the drive on it is when the trailer is 90% full, he'll drive on. Change them by the ups and downs there, handy enough. The middle one is for finding a combine. So if I create a course and set him driving, the middle one allows me to select the combine I want him to collect from, or automatically collect from the combine that needs to be collected from. Next one then is your speed limits, your turn speeds, your field speeds. To be honest, turn speed I wouldn't change too much because the faster he goes, the more slipping he'll do. So it's best to leave that alone. 
and your street speed all your speeds after the, your street speed is from the recording so I my theory to the whole thing is drive slowly get it right so I normally change that to maximum speed and then adjust that accordingly last one this one is then settings where you can change your beacon lights your waiting times and your mouse you can change your open course play with mouse you can change that to whichever button is thing you, ever, you want and then the show waypoints you can start without cross it shows whatever you want I always keep it a start and end so that's all I need to know last one then driving settings always use for the drive always have the hack and never go wrong the next one if you go to field work this will bring it up you can select your field edge pass so it's any of the cultivated fields any of the cultivated fields that you can grow a crop in other than grass you can set your working width, set whatever width you want. I personally always put it a few, maybe half a meter shorter than the actual working width so he doesn't miss it. And you select your starting corner of the field and southwest, so you might want to go north or east, whichever. Return to first point, doesn't really need to be done, and then headlines. That's how many times he'll go around the field before he starts doing ups and downs. And it'll all map that out for you on the field and he'll drive it very handy especially in maps where the fields are tight corners and all of that we go back here and go to fill an empty shovel the last one then is for filling and emptying the shovel you put your loader to a loading position and you click that that saves it at that every time you put one of them down you have to put a waypoint and every time he hits that waypoint he'll change so at the start once you hit the waypoint, he goes loading position. Once he hits the next waypoint, he goes transport position. Next waypoint, preloading, next waypoint, unloading. And then he'll go back to start and start again. Very handy for unloading a BGA. Very, very handy. And that's it, guys. That's the basics of it. I'll make more videos on how to use it all and show videos of how to do it. And a few tips along the way. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm sure I'll see you next time. Good luck.